Hi, this is Brian Schneider, Verification AE from Synopsys. Today I'm going to show you a short video on how to use schematics and the state machine views inside of Verti. So the first part I'll start off with here, let's say you're interested in understanding how are some of my top level blocks all connected. I could look at the source code. For example, here, if I go to this DUT block, I can see there's multiple instantiations here, like U0 is this DMA RF block. Then I have this U1, which is a DMA channel select. I don't need to go through the rest of these, but I can see, hey, these are all the key blocks at my top level. I could try to look through the source code, going down here, look at the instantiations to help me understand how these guys are all connected. Maybe potentially use driver and load traces. If I want to say, what's the driver of this signal? I could double click on it and see if that helps me understand how they're connected. But, probably, but using schematics can make this a lot more effective and easier to see. So I'll go back over here to this DUT level, which has these five blocks instantiated in it. I'll go up here and hit this, hit this icon, which says New Schematic. I can also go to Tools, New Schematic for Source, New Schematic. They both do the same thing. So if I click on this, this actually brings me up a schematic that says, hey, here's how all these blocks are tied together. I see inside of here, if I zoom in some, here's my wishbone ch channel select, here's my register file, here's the U2, which is a DMA engine. Now, any one of these blocks, if I want to see where that instantiation is at, I can drag and drop by using your middle mouse button back to the source code window. So when I did that, it'll jump to where that particular, I selected a signal there, I'll come back over here, I can see, hey, it jumped to where this guy's instantiated block U2. Let me zoom out a little bit here. I'll do the same thing on this block here. If I drag and drop up to the source code, it'll go and say, hey, here's the U1 block. So it gives me a way where I can quickly correlate from schematic back to source code. I can also do the same thing with signals. So let's say if I was interested in this signal right here, which is an output of this block, I can drag and drop this back up to the source code window, and this will do a connectivity trace. So when I do a connectivity trace, I can look down here and see, okay, I picked this master go signal. Here's a driver. Here's a load. Here's another load. So it shows me where the drivers and loads are for this particular signal. So here I can click on each one of these and say, there's one of the loads. Here's a second load, and here's the driver. So it gives me a way to quickly correlate from schematic back to source code. A few other things I can do in this view, if I was interested in this same signal again, I could hit the C icon here, which gives me a way to change the color. Let me change them to yellow. So this will actually route this wire as a yellow color through this schematic so I can more quickly visualize what is connected to, which I can now see how this is connected to this particular block over here to this interface. So it's, so it's a quick and nice way to see how connections look from a schematic perspective instead of just trying to purely use source code. Now, another thing you might like to do also is to say, how are two blocks connected? So by holding the shift key, I can select these two blocks and I might say to myself, what are the common connections between these two blocks? This is where I can do, do a tools, new schematic, browser window, which this creates a new schematic window, which will only show what are the common connections, which are these particular ones right here. Now, if I actually go down to a lower level, it's only going to show me what is the common logic between those two blocks that you selected. So it's a, it's a nice way, again, to help you confirm what are the connectivities from a hierarchical perspective. Now, just like I went down the level of hierarchy, I can come inside of here, go deeper into the design, see what's inside of this particular block, pop back up. So it's like going up and down the hierarchy for you. So this is the first type of schematic, which helps you really understand how blocks are connected, how they're instantiated. Now, if you were more focused on like, what is the drivers, what are the loads of signals, what I'll do here is I'll go find a particular signal. I'll actually use a different searching mechanism than this one. I'll come down here and use one search. So I'll do wishbone data O, do this search, click on the sources, and I'll come over here and say this is the one I'm interested in, which would be this signal right here. Now, I could do driver traces from this perspective. I double click on this. This will be a do a driver trace. I'll come back to this particular signal. But now, if I, what if I want to see a schematic representation of this? I can then do tools, new schematic from source, driver. This now creates a schematic, which this is different than the first one. The first one was hierarchical. This is actually flattened, where each one of these boxes refer to a level of hierarchy I crossed. So I can see this drives back to this, to this MUX. If I want to see what's connected to the zero pin, I can double click on this. And I'll add extra logic here, and you can see what blocks it flowed through. 
So if I zoom in up here, I can see the names of the different blocks and which hierarchies you crossed. This is very, very similar to if you've ever found yourself looking at source code and hand drawing connections, hand drawing schematics, and understand where do things go to and from. So like if I come up here to this pin, I can double click on this, and start building up the schematic. So it gives you a handy way to help you understand what are the connections, what is the connectivities from a driver perspective, if I was interested from a load perspective, I can click on this and click what, click, click what, where it goes. So you can do both driver and load views from this schematic view. So the key thing here is there's two types of schematics. A hierarchical schematic, which helps you understand how blocks are connected, and a flattened schematic, which helps you do driver and load tracings. The last thing I want to show in this video is, state is things about state machines. So if you happen to have state machines in your design, you might like to see what the bubble diagrams are. So again, remember, we're, we're using Verde in a mode where there's no simulation results available, just source code. If you ever happen to have a state machine, it'll show you a little diagram like this. Looks like three little states. I can double click on this. This will actually bring up another window, which will actually show me what is the bubble diagram. And this is extracted directly from your source code. So if I zoom inside of here, I can see what my state names are. In the view pull down menu, I can turn on things like state action, transition conditions, transition actions. So this is just add, annotating more information in, this, in, the, in the state machine view from the source code. For example, if I take this state and drag and drop over the source code window, this will actually highlight what this source code is, where I can see here, here's my decoding logic, which matches this box. Then I have this, at this if if this signal is true, which will refer to this stuff right here. So it means I'll go to the next state if this is true, else I stay in the current state. So it gives you a handy way to help you understand what your state machines look like purely from a source code analysis. Now, if you ever want to export any of these views to like a graphic format, all you have to do is just do file capture window. And this then you can use this to put into an email, into documentation into other things like that. And the same thing refers to the schematic windows also. If I bring up the schematics, I can also do a file capture window. So it gives you a handy way to export this to use, maybe for design review meetings, maybe to put into documentation, things along those lines. But this is my short video for today, just going through, showing you how you can use the two main schematic windows, a hierarchical schematic window to help you understand how blocks are connected, a flattened schematic window to help you understand driver load and connectivity relationships, and the state machine view. So hopefully you found this useful. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.